guys we said that we are going to keep this conversation so real raw and authentic you know so no hiding things here keep on running away from this type of content uh, talking more about faith relationships my journey and all but who are you guys who are you to keep on you know coming after me on my dm telling me jen uh, we want that kind of content and i'm like <laughs> yeah so i'm in that season where i'm I'm actually really praying to God and I just want to listen to him and hear from him and you know uh, hear what kind of content that he wants me to share with you because I believe in hearing the voice of God and doing as to what God leads you to do okay all right guys so this year I have experienced a lot of change in my life I think in everything because as I was starting the year, the type of job I was doing is not the kind of work that I'm doing right now. God gave me a new job. <clears throat> I got married. I'm a wife now. And I have a family. And I just feel like a lot has really changed in my life. A lot, a lot. And I have been getting people coming to my DM and those who have my contacts coming to my WhatsApp asking me questions concerning life, marriage, relationship and especially at a um, wedding guys um, I got a lot of feedback from you guys and you know people could tell me congratulations I wish I will, I will be there one day I wish uh, I got a relationship that is stable I don't know, I wish I knew how to relate with my mom I'm in a relationship and um, my relationship is not working and people were asking for advice and I was like you know sometimes people see relationships out there or a couple out there and all they think is that um, the life their life is you know have everything that they would want but I want to tell you today that it's a journey and it takes a lot of work, you know, to see something work, to see a relationship work, a marriage work, a career work. It takes the hand of God. It takes, you know, faith and making God to be at the center of everything. And due to public demand and you guys asking me to share with you about my journey in relationship and, you know, asking me, Concerning the advice, I don't want to say that I'm here to advise you guys because I also don't have my life, you know, put together, doing extremely good and all. I also have a life that have flows, so I don't believe in seeing myself as a perfect person coming out here to advise you concerning how uh, your relationship, you know, should be or how you guys should date or how you guys should get married or how you guys you know how you should run your career and all those things guys uh, the only thing that I can do is to share with you about my experience my journey how I do life personally and if you will feel the content you know inspiring you maybe you can take one or two things that you will feel like you know I would want to do this or I would want to do life this kind of kind of kind of a way and yeah so I got questions and the most 
asked question is um, about Jen. I'm dating this man. This man cheated on me. Got a kid with another woman. Jen, I'm in a relationship. This man has no signs of marrying me. What do I do? Jen, you know, I would love to know how you met your man. How have your journey been like? Uh, which challenges have you experienced? Um, and so many things, guys. So, due to all that, I decided to start this podcast. It's actually a podcast that I will also be putting the audio in other podcast platforms like uh, Anchor, Audio Mark, Boomplay, you know, Spotify, Apple. And if you have time, just find time and go listen to those audios if you are on those platforms. And I decided to start this podcast of when God writes your love story. And in this podcast, I just want to do episodes where I'll come here, guys, and have a chit chat conversation with you guys and share with you about how um, my life has been, especially as I as I become an adult, I'm 25 years old, and you know how my life has been in career, in a relationship, especially, and how I have grown to be where I am. I know that um, I don't have everything I would want in life. I know that I am not even close to what uh, we call, you know, having life put together, but in what I have, the small things that I have, or the small blessings, let me not call them small blessings, but if with the blessings that God has given me, there are some lessons that I have learned, and I think sharing with those people who always uh, come to my DM asking me questions, I hope that it can help you, because guys, um, dealing with one person individually, and you know, having that one-on-one -on -one conversation sometimes I don't even get time to open to my DMs and see your messages but um, but I think through this podcast we will be able to interact and talk more so today we will be starting the podcast of when God writes your love story and I'm gonna be sharing with you about my journey from how God told me about my husband and how I got to know that he's the one and my journey in between the lessons that I have learned are uh, dealing with communication, finances and everything that comes with dating you know, getting engaged and getting married I'm going to share with you all those episodes so stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not subscribed and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that next time when I upload a new video guys you will be notified and you will be among the first people to watch this podcast okay and so today uh, I'll be sharing with you about how God told me about my husband when I was 22 years old I remember it was back in 2018 April that's when God literally spoke to me uh, concerning my husband and it was amazing it was really amazing because um, um, we started interacting with my husband back then 2018 on January and it was uh, during this period when I was in that year in university and I was running an online business that I was doing simply because my dad has had lost his job and I had to cater for my bills because I was living quite an expensive lifestyle for a student. I was living in an apartment outside school and I was paying bills like any other person out there. Okay. So when my dad lost his work uh, I started feeling some insecurities that for some reasons um, my dad will not make to pay for my bills and I didn't want my life to go down simply because my dad could not be able to pay uh, for my bills. I had to work hard and work. I had to look for something, you know, to do on a part-time basis and cater for my bills. So this time, um, 
as I was uh, doing the business, that's when we got to meet with my husband on a certain seminar and he had my contacts and from then we, we just had a little chat. He traveled to Mombasa and that's how we stopped talking, you know, until April. I remember it was on a Sunday when I was praying. I was in church and I was praying to God. I was praying to God concerning my 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 career, my business and my life and all. And I was telling God I want him in my life. I want him to guide me. I want him to show me the way so that I make, you know, right decisions in life, you know. All the time when I want to make a major move in life, I always depend on this God because I believe in God, you know, um, making things possible and, you know, he cannot lead you astray. So, I was praying in church and I remember as I was praying for all those things, I was single, not dating, and I was not even ready to get into a relationship. But this time round, God talked to me and he told me that, Jane, listen, today you are going to meet a certain man and this man will bring a certain impact in your life, a certain um, shift in your life that you have never experienced before and from there your life will change i never knew what god meant i never understood until actually the other day we were having a conversation with my husband and we were like oh god baby uh god bringing us together you know was for a certain purpose and reason because because i have impacted his life in a very positive way and also he has impacted my life in a very positive way i have really grown um in all aspects and he's he has also grown you know in all aspects socially financially career wise and you know in our relationship and marriage okay so then i never understood what god really meant so i left church and now this guy that we had chatted with like three months ago started contacting me i wasn't even remembering of what god had told me at church and just like any other conversation we were having a conversation became friends a friendship escalated to coffee and then coffee escalated to dinners and then these dinners guys led to something that we call relationship we started dating on this while, I remember when even getting into this relationship, I wasn't like reflecting on what God had told me that you will meet a man today. And this man will bring a certain impact and shift in your life. But now, I got into this relationship, guys. And one thing I like about my husband, and I'm going to come and share with you, uh, in the next video concerning how I got to know that he is the one is that he influences my life in a very positive way and he brings out the best in me every time even when I was dating him my life was on toes like I just had to to, to make it big not him pushing me but it comes from within me you know and that's how I got to know that he was the one because every time when I'm with, with him, he brings a, a very huge positive um, energy to me, a very huge positive impact on me. He influences me positively and like those other relationships that influence you negatively. Uh, when I met him, um, I got more closer with God and there is some peace that you know i got all right so we started dating and just like a normal couple we dated then uh, i'm gonna share with you the other series in between concerning my experience while dating okay in other episodes guys remember this is just the very first episode of how god told me concerning my husband when i was 22 years old so we dated with him. Guys, it's not something that they had planned. In fact, if my friends, you know, tell you 
I used to tell them that, oh my God, I think I will wait until I'm this age to get into a relationship, to get married. But when God speaks, he makes things possible. As in God doesn't go with our own thinking. He just, um, he just aligns our life according to his will. So we dated eight months down the line. I started feeling like I'm making a bad decision. Um, getting into a relationship. I felt like I needed some time to to go and you know find myself career wise in everything guys story for another day so we broke up we broke up i remember it was on first of january 2019 my husband and i he was a boyfriend then we broke up we broke up and then again after the breakup i remember i could pray and God could tell me about that man. And he could tell me this this man, Jim. And there is a grace that I have placed in in that relationship. Like when you guys are together, there's a blessing that I have placed over you guys. A blessing that you cannot understand. A favor that you cannot understand. You know, there's something about it. And I remember I tried to ignore the voice of God for the longest because I'm like, God, look, I'm not even ready for this. I'm not even ready for this. Until sometimes after after the dating and sorry, after the breakup. Um I remember I was praying again. I was praying again and God reminded me of my husband. Oh, now we had broke, broken up with him then, but um, he reminded me about him. But I was like, God, listen, listen. We broke up. I know that for now he must be in another relationship. Like, how? And I remember this time God telling me that, um, God, Jane. I have preserved him for you and I was like God how now where do I start like where do we even start because I remember that after we broke up um, he tried to to make things work out but I was somehow rigid I was somehow rigid and I was I did not want to to date then guys so this time from God telling me about him I was like really God who does that and then he told me that Jane I have preserved that man for you and I was like God just give me a sign and I wonder and I remember this time around God telling me to, to just go ahead and reach out to him and nothing will even be hard guys we said that we are going to keep this conversation so real raw and authentic you know so no hiding things here so i had broken up with him this time around you know i love to hear the voice of god but sometimes when god speak to us we always feel like no god this is not what i wanted to hear i wanted to hear something different but now i went i had blocked him on whatsapp I had deleted his contact after the breakup and then blocked him because I was like, he's a good man. He doesn't deserve, you know, um, the back and forth, the back and forth. And I know he may reach out on me. So I blocked him so that he could not reach on, reach out on me. So I deleted his contact and then blocked him. So this time around, <laughs> I went and unblocked his number on WhatsApp. After unblocking his number, his contacts got lost. And I was like, fine, it has gotten lost. So there is no communication. I can't reach out to him because I don't have his number anymore. And I remember I went on the social media, on Instagram, specifically guys 
I'm not even kidding you guys. So we used to, to poke one another like like one another photos and all. And so this one day, um, he had we had started you know throwing some shades online and all. So I went to his DM and I remember this time um, I was like, hey, I knew that I wasn't sure that what God had spoken to me that he has preserved me for him was true. So I went with a lot of respect because somehow I knew that he might be married or he might be dating or he don't want to get into a relationship with me or um, I don't want to be this kind of a girl who is going, you know, uh, initiating things and all you know you want to maintain that ego of being a lady you want to be pursued by the man you know and so my work was to go and say hi and then just just let the conversation flow as god leads <laughs> a lot hmm. i'm remembering those moments and i'm laughing so i reached out i told him hi i hope that you're keeping safe and you're good and he responded back he told me yes um i'm good i'm safe and that's how the conversation started all over again guys it was really nice i felt so good the conversation was so natural it was like we had not broken up and we started talking about our differences and um yeah, by the grace of God, we started dating again, and here we are, married, happily married. And I thank God, I thank God, there's something, there's something about it, because I remember after God, you know, spoke to me and told me that I have preserved Patrick for you. I was, I was doing really good in life, by the way. I had already finished university, graduated um got in a job i was working and i was independent it wasn't like i was going back to that relationship for any other type of reasons i just love to hear the peace of god and sometimes you know there's that doubt that you normally feel about um god was it was this what you really meant or i just uh, did my things and all so I remember now, after I started dating again, I went back to God and I was like, God, I want you to lead me. Before we even take this relationship too far, God, you promised me things and you told me that there is favor in this relationship that you have, um, that you have blessed and all. And guys, let me tell you, since I started dating my husband again, my life changed. My life changed. His life changed. We advanced in career. I got a new job. And we have gotten so many blessings that we cannot even explain. And even this year, we have been able to do a lot of so many things, even without um, support from people. But we did it. We have done so many things. So many things until we normally sit down and we are like, baby. How did we even do all these things but it is all because of God what I wanted to tell you is that um, it's good to listen to God to listen to the voice of God and I have always taught you how to hear the voice of God but guys God speaks in different ways maybe I will come to talk about it another day but God speaks in different ways um, getting into a marriage or a relationship or into friendship it's good to involve God it's good to pray to God it's good to seek for God's guidance because you know what God can be able to foresee what you cannot see God is able you know to see what you cannot see he, he is able to see everything where that relationship will head where that marriage will head and being led by God is the best thing today I am where I am because of God, because I chose to listen to him, you know, and 
there's something about listening to the voice of God and I will come to teach you about it concerning how to listen to the voice of God and have also done a video concerning how to hear the voice of God so stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel as I keep on sharing with you about uh, my journey while dating in the next video we will talk about how I got to know that now after God has spoken to me concerning my husband how I got to know that he is the one yes this is the one how I got to know that this man is the man to be my husband okay so stay tuned don't forget to hit that red button subscribe put the notification on and also share this podcast why widely uh, you can watch it right here on YouTube or even go and watch it on my other social media platforms on the podcast sites the anchor um audimark apple spotify i will put the link in the description box and stay tuned guys for more content i know that you will be inspired i know we all we all have a history we all have a journey we all have a special journey i'm so sure even you if you were to come here and tell us about how about your life there is a story to tell and i hope that we will keep you know inspiring one another i'm not like above you guys coming here to show you how to live or how to do things i understand that we all have different journeys different relationships dating different people and having you know different lifestyles different careers so we can't have the same life but we can always share ideas and wisdom right thank you so much for watching this video and until next time guys bye subscribe